travelers! Welcome one more day to my channel. My name is Claudia and I'm in Norway. And in today's video I want to show you what I did with my team. We went on an investigation trip to the west coast of Norway and this is what we found out. So at first, like all of us, we came up with different topics that we want to investigate. And uh, we came like, I don't know, five different topics that I was interested in. But as we thought, it would be like harder to make the questions for each of our topics. And we were like, ah, oh, it's a really good idea to read about climate change. And then we started to think about the questions that we could ask the people. It took us some time to make the questions and make them like not too hard for people to understand and at the same time to be like really effective. We did a couple of amazing hikes, we went through beautiful deep forests, beautiful pure streams high snowy mountains but there was bad thing and I've been saving the environment from plastic walls yay so pan system is something everybody loves the same Norwegian as strangers as us uh, so how does it actually work uh, in each shop when you are buying plastic bottles or cans you have to pay for them two or three krona and when you take them back you get the money back it's helping to prevent littering a lot uh, however, some people still don't want to go back to supermarket or anything and they just throw it to the forest or next to some lake or to bushes or in mountains. So, and we are making actually money on these people because when you see a can and you know you can get the money for it, you will collect it. It's motivating you a lot. This is the can. To Corona. Be rich, not bitch. <laughs> more about um, uh, how Norwegian cares about the environment how, 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 they, how we imagine that it's all perfect here but they have a lot to, to criticize the survey in Christensen and it was really nice to approach to Norwegian people and see what are they thinking about the environment. Some of them they were uh, talking a lot but some others not too much. Uh, are you Norwegian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, so of that 100 people that we were asking, around the 20% of people were mm, answering totally sure, yeah, natural project, I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, but also uh, the other 70%, uh, around half of it, was saying that it was both, that it was a natural process but accelerated much more by the human. That was so, so keen, really. <laughs> Every day we had to plan what to buy for food, who will cook, who will clean, and what places to visit in Alashund. Thanks to a beautiful old lady, we got to visit a lighthouse, learn how it actually works, and enjoy the windy but amazing views. We 
finished the day on a sandy beach and we really didn't expect that the people will serve there because the water was really cold. Um, most of the people answered that uh, for them is the biggest problem actually migration, racism, taking care of other people and social problems. But actually the highest percentage answered that the biggest problem in 10 years for Norway is environment. That means, uh, for example, getting rid of plastic, getting rid of garbage and also climate change. For example, Norwegian could uh, really notice that uh, last year they have uh, less snow than a couple of years ago. Uh, this uh, doesn't match with the answer uh, which we asked later because the next question was, was if the people agree or disagree with the oil industry in Norway and the answer were so-so. Uh, that means a lot of people actually agree with the oil industry in Norway uh, which of course produce water and the environment a lot. Uh, but thanks to the oil industry, Norwegian's uh, standards of living is really high. Uh, is it to say they are really rich thanks to oil. Uh, so you can make uh, your own opinion about that. How do you feel that you enter a fun car? Hey, I, I will still have to see what means fun, yeah? Oh, you want to see? Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. a second, we show you what is fun. <laughs> 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 oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. We saw a lot of beautiful landscapes, like one time we took the ferry and we saw the fjords from that or uh, while driving across Norway we stopped in lakes and beaches and it was super super nice. So as you know, Norway has lots of electric cars, like 40%, that's a lot. And surprisingly, the, their opinions have been kinda negative. Lots of people are against electric cars because they are very expensive, they don't have long range, uh, the batteries to make them is really very difficult and it's even worse to get rid of them and the, their technologies are not advanced enough. Other people think that they are supported too much by the government because you get tax reduction when you buy them, you don't have to pay for parking, you don't have to pay tolls and you don't have to pay for ferries which is too much and as well they have their own lane that is good on one on hand but not that good on the other hand because they are heavy and they are damaging the roads what happened media the road is closed the road is closed the road to the no do not me the road to the unesco field is closed come to this field where the streets are in hogwarts <laughs> Since I'm in Norway, I'm vegetarian and I realize many people have considered their own diets. So just by eating less meat and supporting sustainable farms, it can make a big difference. Actually, the Mediterranean diet is one of the most healthy ones because it has a bit of everything, vegetables, fruit, fish and meat and also olive oil. But at the end we found this nice waterfall and we decided to have barbecue there and also was the perfect moment to celebrate Raluca's birthday. this video and what we investigate in our trip with my team and remember to like the video subscribe to my channel and see you next week
So this is how I became a millionaire in Norway.